Why do most 3D artists like AI? 2D artists are outraged. Why do you do 2D or 3D art in the first place? I make 3D characters to tell a story through them. I love it. I do it regardless if I get clients. If I can't get clients, I make them free for the community. My 3D artist friends love the AI video tutorial I made for them. My 2D artist friends was a whole nother story that I was not prepared for. I've gotten a lot of love and a lot of hate. AI art. A lot of people do not like being replaced by machines. As the people who've been through the Industrial Revolution, 1760 to 1840, give or take. The Industrial Revolution, people were outraged, breaking into the shops, burning the machines. People were being replaced by machines. They were being let go out of a job hungry. It is happening again with the AI. The AI Industrial Revolution, I call it. I make 3D tutorials. My channel screams 3D. I recently started making some 2D AI art, reference art tutorials for my friends who don't have the money or the time and that are afraid to death to hire an artist. Reference art. It is the backbone for 3D avatar creation, 3D character design. It's kind of like the blueprints outline the foundation. Seeing is believing. The word reference art, the meaning, is to get ideas off of. 3D artists usually get free reference art online or you hire an artist. For some people, hiring someone is out of the question. Why? Some of my friends I love that are awesome are afraid to death to hire an artist to bother someone and they can't find good free reference art online. Not everyone's confident, outgoing, heaven forbids everyone's the same. 3D character creators already go through enough as some of us have to master three programs, advanced programs. I'm not saying 3D artists have it harder. I'm saying why we use AI reference art. We consider it a program. Is it right or wrong? That is very much debatable. Blender 3D, Substance Painter 3D, Unity 3D, 3D Modeling, 3D Rigging, Shape Keys, UV Unwrapping, Texturing. That is extremely simplifying it. I made a whole playlist how to make a 3D avatar from scratch. So you can see what I mean. Look how many steps there are for one avatar. Most of the avatars I make take more than 50 hours around there. On top of that, 3D artists are already technically replaced. There's free programs you can download that are awesome, fully customizable, an avatar walking and talking, and it looks pretty good. So I guess we're really grown the thick skin or just man up because we're used to it by now. It's just been out for so long, we're unfortunately used to it. Do I hate those programs? No, I actually like it. It separates the man from the boys, the people who want to actually hire an artist and get an avatar that's unique. Those avatar maker all kind of look the same. Look at my sunflower character avatar. I made it from scratch. So ugly, it's gorgeous. As an artist, we know how it feels when someone hires you and they don't want to hire you. They hire you because they have to. It's not fun, it's torture. AI generators and avatar maker programs are good for people who don't have money or the time and they don't want to hire an artist. Everyone's happy. Do not hate on people who use it. It just separates the community, makes our community look not so good. Consider AI generator programs like a top tier artist. Don't be jealous of it. Just do your own thing. Ask yourself, why do you do art in the first place? I, am I still going to hire 2D artists? Of course, making avatars for people for free is a lot of fun for the community or for the YouTube channel. I have good experiences and bad experiences for hiring artists. Don't let a bad experience stopping you from hiring an artist of any kind. I can't exactly speak from a 2D artist point of view, so please hear their opinion. Leave a comment down below, I really want to know.